Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, episode 51. And in today's episode, we are going to be going to the end and hopefully find an Elytra. Because I want one. And in the last episode, if you did not watch it, we defeated the Ender Dragon. And in my Ender Chest, oh, actually, you know what? I don't want to go all the way over there, so I'm going to place this right here. Over here we have the Dragon Axe. So before we go ahead actually and head to the end to explore the end and hopefully find an end city because sometimes it can be a while to find them. Um, we're going to make a trophy case for this Dragon Egg as suggested by Gasty in the comments in the last video. So thank you very much for that suggestion. So I'm going to remove... Hey, excuse me. Okay then. Ah, like that. Okay. That was weird. I think you have to... Yeah, it's not like they have a health thing. You just have to double... Double smack them. You have to double smack them. <laughs> that, that was strange. Um, I don't know where to put the skull, actually. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it up there. Um, but yeah, I think I have a small idea here for what to do. So, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm definitely going to be needing some wood. So, let's take that. Let's grab some wood real quick. Just gonna try and make this really quickly here, as to not take up the entire time. So let me get this as well. To yeah, kind of. I'm going to keep it the same style as the rest of this place. So I think do that, and then get rid of these. I think. Uh, I think we're gonna keep it like that, just to make it look nice, and remove this. I think this is what we're going to roll with. A single glowstone where the egg is going to sit and then this like textured background here. Should the background be reversed? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. We could actually make it even fancier and put a glowstone on top as well. But I think I've got to keep it like this. So let's take the egg and put it there for display. And just so we don't accidentally right click it or something like I'm probably going to do with this glass. We've got to put the glass right here. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Does this look okay or should we change it? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. But now, on to the more serious business, which is to go to the end. So, uh, I, I don't even know where to put my armor stands and whatnot. I'll clean up it a bit. Uh, but we need some blocks because in the end, we can't fly right now, unfortunately. So... We have to walk, which means we have to bridge, which means I'm gonna need all of this cobblestone right here, I think. I'm gonna... yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab all of it, to be honest with you. Because we are gonna need it, and that fit perfectly. Right there. I'm gonna put all that into my ender chest. And there we go. That should hopefully be enough. If not, well, we can always just, well, get some endstone from down there. So... We should be all right. All right, I think we are ready for the adventure. The reason why I have an iron frame and two minecarts is just so that I can put an iron frame and always have a minecart uh, or by the nether portal uh, in the nether hub. Just so it will come down there and then have to go all the way back for a minecart because that would be very annoying. So that is the reason for that. Just to make it easier for myself to be able to well, always have a minecart. So I'm gonna put this right here and right here. And then of course I have to remember to bring hold on my minecart back with me when I actually get out of it because I'm pretty sure I forgot about that. And also the way to go home from the end is of course through the portal that then the dragon generated, but the thing is, it brings me back to my bit. It doesn't bring me back to the stronghold, which would be more convenient in my situation, but it is fine. We will live with it. I'm going to jump out right here. Okay, good. I'm going to take both of these with me, like so. And also, I have 68 levels. What should I use them for? I don't even know what to use them for. <laughs> I don't have any enchanting to do. I don't have, like combining to do. I don't have anything, really. Well, this should be relatively safe then, shouldn't it? Uh, before we go, though, 
before we go, I do want to put my bow away that away just in case. I do want to keep my armor on even though I am pretty scared to leave it on. Um, in case I die or something, but hopefully that is not going to happen. Um, if I'm just a bit careful. And there is actually the portal right there in front of us. I didn't bring ender pearls. I was going to bring the last ender pearls that I had with me, but I was a dum dum and I didn't do that. So now some of these guys have to die. So let me just kill a few endermen here, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I have 16 ender pearls. Hopefully that is going to do the trick. I'm gonna grab this cobblestone just so I have a bunch on me. Yeah, 16 ender pearls. I don't need 16 ender pearls to get through, at least hopefully not. But by having 16, it is also like a safety net for me, just in case I fall or something, which hopefully isn't going to happen. And hopefully this is space enough uh, to get up there. I just don't want to get... Yeah, I need to go back a lot further, I think. All right. Make a little platform like this, just because I don't trust any of this stuff. I don't trust any edges, any falling possibilities <laughs> i don't trust anything all right this should be good uh let's head through oh what oh it's up there nice all right well i'm going to quickly mark those coordinates just in case something happens and let's see uh how high is my render distance it is set to 16 we could actually boost it to 32 my computer can indeed handle that um, just to see if there should be something already here. Let's just see what happens. Yeet, 32. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna let this generate because it's probably gonna take a little bit. And yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be right back. All right, I have left this rendering for a little bit. I do have some frame frame drops. That is uh, that's understandable. And I don't see anything. Um, oh wait, yes I do. There's a shadow out there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a shadow out there. Okay, uh, okay, that's <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so we need to go in that direction. I can't see if there's a ship, but I do see a shadow of the building of the Dead Sea. Okay, so we need to go that way. Um, I'm not going to risk this with... I just need to make sure that I got the direction right. Uh, yeah, that's just definitely that way. I'm going to reduce this back to 16 so I can... Uh, so I feel a little bit more safe with smooth performance. Another nice thing about having ender pearls is because you can quickly teleport from island to island if they're close enough. Just be careful, cause you might you might you might miss and hit the side of the island, and that's gonna ruin your day. Really, <laughs> uh, it is not fun when that happens. But anyways, we should head in this direction, and there should be an end city. That's so cool. It's not right up to the portal, but you know what? It is close enough, especially if it has a boat. If it has an end city boat, um, well, that that would be that would be all we need. Uh, let me just see where it is. I know it was a city. All right, so here we can actually see it. It's right there, and from what I can see from right here, there's no boat over there, unfortunately. I mean, I might not be able to see it from here, but I'm pretty sure I would be able to. So that's no city on, uh, no boat, unfortunately. So I don't know if I should go for this one or if I should try and search some of this land over here where I don't have to bridge and potentially fall to my doom. I think I'm going to remember this one. I'm going to keep looking a little bit, um, but I will certainly remember it. So I'm going to keep looking a bit, probably time lapse it. In fact, let's. Let's get some of uh, some of this stuff. Because I want some of these. They're fun. And I'll get some of the flowers as well. But yeah, I think I'm going to make a little short time lapse here of me just running around in the end. Um, that was risky. Hopefully be able to see another end city with this render distance. I'm going to see what I can see. And I'll be right back.
Well, that is certainly another end city, though it is still not with a ship. I'm I'm going to try and go around because there's a lot of distance between me and all these islands here. So I think I'm trying to go this way and then see if it's possible that I can possibly get a closer view. Yes, finally. Ah. After a long time of searching and getting pretty hopeless because no blocks left, finally a city and I see the ship right there above my crosshair. Okay, that's great news. Now, right now, uh, my task is to uh, be able to defend myself, <laughs> first of all. And then... I need to get a ton of blocks, because I don't have any. So, I'll be back once I have done that. Stay tuned. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna do this. We will do this. <laughs> Finally found it. <laughs> Took a while. Alright. Got end stone. Uh, oh, there we go. I got the endstone, uh, got some extra ender pearls, and I'm going to utilize these small islands just to give me a bit of a boost. Hopefully, not having to use as many blocks. Um, okay, that's probably not gonna happen. I have to be really careful bridging up, cause yeah, eh, sketchy. But we finally found it. Now, while I'm bridging over there, if you're wondering why on earth I am not looting the other two that you found first and then moving on to see if you can find another one because I want to aim for specifically getting the elytra today and then that it with the elytra it's going to be so much easier to looting the rest um, we'll be able to get back and forth really quickly and easily very painless and not using that many blocks and yeah, I just want to get the elytra in this episode, and so not use too much time on, well, looting something that I know for sure doesn't have what, I, what I'm what i after, so yeah, that's why. Now I'm gonna make this very creepy bridge, hopefully an ender pearl should be able to... Do I see two ships? You know what, I can't see much but shadows from here. But I honestly think that is two end cities with one ship each. This could be interesting. Okay, you know what? I'm getting impatient. Yeet. Alright, I want to see this for myself. Let's get over there. <laughs> if it is that, then that would be amazing. I can't wait to get closer. <laughs> 